Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, this one has to do with the speed of Windows 11, but at a different level, not that general speed since it's installed or anything, but slowdowns that you might have. And this video actually is also something that all Windows 10 users might notice. So uh, we've all used the PC and went on the internet and did things. Uh, and and notice that maybe one day the PC is slower than than usual or something weird, and then suddenly the next day or you did something and you have the impression that maybe that has fixed the speed problem. Uh, keep in mind that variations in speed have a lot of different causes. One of them is uh, background updates that you might not be aware of that are happening. Uh, this happens very often, people coming back saying, yeah, my PC is slow today. And then you go and you check Windows Update and you notice that there's an update in progress in the background. Slows down your PC in general. The uh, older your PC, the more actually you will notice this. So, you know, you have temporarily slowdowns that could happen from time to time because of this. Remember also that in the background, your browsers and some software actually update themselves you don't see it you don't see the process happening it's just happening there in the background and you know it's a task that your computer has to do with everything else you're asking it so it could be a temporary slowdown and that happens regularly um, so if there's a slowdown in your pc don't panic immediately you can just wait a little bit you can restart your pc sometimes a restart is uh, and actually a restart is one of the best things you can do very often to kind of clear your PC from all the clutter because the restart isn't the same as a shutdown and then a startup. A uh, restart will just clear out everything. So that could also help. Uh, the other question also, well, the, the question comes from the fact that um, the viewer has noticed that it seemed to be better after you had something called a C++ redistribute redistributable uh, um, that was actually installed. The um, C++ and all the other things. So, so that's one of the things. And there could be other software that could be uh, installed at the same time. Some, some apps and some programs require that you have other apps installed at the same time. So when you look at the update history, sometimes these could be uh, .NET Framework and all sorts of things like that. Um, you know what? There are different types of files that are distributed and that are needed for certain apps. So, for example, C++ package is simply a package of code that something in your computer needs to work. It is required for some apps. So when you see things like C++ installing after um, or at the same time as another app or updating on its own, uh, .NET Framework, all of that, uh, if the question comes to mind is, do I really need this? In general, you do. They install only when an app requires them. So .NET Framework, for example, will not be on your PC if there is absolutely no apps that would need it. Uh, but a lot of apps will need those because these are shortcuts for developers and programmers. The C++ redistributable, <laughs> I have a hard time with that word, um, so you can laugh. Uh, <laughs> the um, the um, .NET framework also. Uh, these are code that apps will need to actually properly function. So that is fine. Uh, you know, it's these these packages exist because they will actually do basic functionalities that instead of you know the programmer thinking about it, say for example, printing, you know, if you build a program and need to print, you would have to actually program and to 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 tell the computer how to print something. Well, those code packages have, for example, a printing um, code. So instead of having to write the code to print to a printer, you can just say, okay, well, use this code 
to print to the printer. It's already done for you. It makes things a little faster, a little easier when you're programming uh, new apps, for example. So any of these that you see on your PC are needed. And in general, they're not the ones that affect the speed. So if you th see, you know, .NET Framework or C++ or any other type of uh, app that wants to install, uh, that, um, you know, installs and you have the impression it's faster, one of the things that might have happened, and this is probably maybe why it's faster, maybe after the app installed, it required you to do a, re a restart. So, of course, that restart is, is probably what made the PC faster because it cleared everything and your windows started fresh. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.